Hi folks, Trisha Friedman here, and I wanted to have a chat with you about one of our free Shifting Schools guides. This is the Positive Gossip Guide that came out a few months ago, and now as we approach the wrap-up of term, Jeff and I have been hearing from lots of educators who are looking at using some of the ideas inside of this free guide as a nice way to wrap up the semester or the term. So again, inside the free guide, Positive Gossip, you can find it at shiftingschools.com or there's a link in the video description. Essentially, we sent, set you up with a free set menu of compliments. All of the compliments were generated with ChatGPT. So there's sort of a dual purpose here. One, of course, is that community building piece of just sending some positive gossip around the community. The other is familiarizing yourself with what ChatGPT can actually generate. And again, we've got some recommendations in terms of the ways in which you might deliver the positive gossip. This all depends on the amount of time you and your team have. So if this is an activity that you set up weeks in advance, perhaps it is that you decide to let folks know, hey, the week before we break for holiday, consider privately delivering your piece of positive gossip to the recip recipient. Or maybe you've got a gallery walk, maybe you've got a big bulletin board space, or maybe you want to have a digital gallery or some blending of both so that folks can see all of the positive gossip about their peers. Now, again, if you don't have a lot of time, you might want to just have folks pick from the menu. But if you do have a lot of time, this is a great way actually to work a little bit on some of your AI literacy. And one of the tools that we love sharing with teams is our cooking up your prompt kind of like a mini bit of a tiered system of different prompt writing or prompt craft. There's a time and a place for instant noodles. Um, instant noodles can be a delicious lunch. Sometimes actually you're just going to draft a one sentence request. It's done quickly within minutes and not a lot of planning. That's one approach to prompting. The next level is to have a more intentional prompt where you're really carefully selecting the ingredients for your pasta and thinking a little more carefully about your recipe. And the final tier is what we call the inspired tier, also known as our lasagna tier, where you've got layers of nuance. You've got context baked into your prompt. So with our positive gossip activity, this might be a great way for folks to actually model their thinking in going through those layers. So in the video description, you're gonna find three templates one for the instant, one for the intentional, one for the inspired or your instant noodles, your spaghetti and your lasagna. So this is just the instant prompt where I've gone to chat GPT. Hey, write me a compliment that would be meaningful to a grade six teacher to hear just before a holiday break. You can check out the output there. And then thinking about, well, what's kind of one level up? What would be an example of uh, a slightly more careful ingredient selection, if you will? And again, over there in the video description, you will find the template for this where I have prompted ChatGPT to write me a compliment in the style of Ted Lasso that would mean a lot to a middle school teacher of maths who's been working to become better with differentiating content and who is a huge fan of Tegan and Sarah. You can see there's a lot of ingredients there and the template won't have all of the specifications, but will ask you to select in the style of what is the subject area? What has that person been working on and who are they a fan of? So you can also see the example output from ChatGPT and a great challenge as a staff is to think, okay, how might we go from intentional to inspired or hitting that lasagna prompt. And here we go. Here's an example. Once again, you're going to find the template in the video description where I thought about nuance and I've thought about layers. Please write me a compliment in the style of a short letter. The compliment should outline three reasons why having a caring and tech savvy middle school math teacher is so critical for students today. The compliment should tap into an analogy for a fan of the New York Rangers and should use the words, 
intellectually curious, compassionate, and responsible global citizens somewhere in the text. The letter should evoke the feeling of gratitude and end with a note that lets the reader know the writer looks forward to seeing them in a few weeks. And you can take a look at that letter. You can pause the video if you would like to look at the whole thing. So if you do have a lot of time to take that guide further, what you can also do, aside from sharing the positive gossip, is also have folks really talk about what they needed to think more about in order to get to that lasagna layer and how that prompt craft might be useful to them in other ways. How might they use that in lesson planning? How might they use that in differentiating an activity or coming up with different ways of building summative or formative assessment? Now, the question that we often get is, what's the better way to do this? Do we organize this positive gossip using groups where teachers know each other really well, or dare we actually put teachers in groups where they're strangers? And our recommendation would be, it really depends on how much time you have. If you have tons of time, it can be really fun to set folks up in groups where they might not work very closely together, so they have to ask questions of that person's peer. And you do actually have a lot more conversation that is spreading positive gossip about folks. But if you're short on time, placing folks in teams where they do work closely together is a great way to bring the positive gossip free guide to life. Now, again, the templates that I've mentioned in this video, you're not going to find those in the free guide. You're going to find them in the video description below. Um, so again, we hope that this helps you think about ways in which you can simultaneously experiment with AI literacy and do a little bit of community building. If you try out this activity or if you modify it, if you do it with students rather than faculty, we'd love to hear from you. You can always reach out to us info at shiftingschools.com, or my email address is trisha at shiftingschools.com. That was brave of me to try and type and talk at the same time. Thanks again for watching this video. If you've got any questions, please reach out at any time. Thanks.